Okay, so removing the steering box drop arm. Well, basically, uh, this will be when replacing the steering box without a drop arm already fitted, or possibly when uh, replacing a leaky seal, and that's quite common on these uh, power steering boxes, or when overhauling a steering box. Uh, all of these operations you need to pull off the drop arm, and they're not easy to do. Basically, you need a two-armed puller, and Land Rover recommend using LRT 57012. Steering box components should never be subjected to excessive heat, so refrain from using oxyacetylene on the uh, drop arm. In this video, we'll be looking at Sykes Pickerman drop arm puller specially made for the job. Right, so first of all, you're going to have to remove the lock tab. This is a uh, very important piece of equipment that should be seen on a steering box. This basically stops the nut from coming undone. Once we're there, then this is very hard to remove. Now I'm using uh, a battery gun, which has a pull of at least 300 newton meters. Okay, so this is a 35 or 36 mil socket, and bang, away we go, she's off, no problem. Okay, so that's the easy bit. I'm not wanting to put you off here, but this is a hard job. Right, so we have the Sykes Pickerman tool here, which is the um, specifically made for Land Rovers. Um, drop arm puller. It also, it can be used on a Ford Transit. This tool actually is uh, used in conjunction with a hammer. Okay, some Land Rover people enjoy this. Basically, first of all, you want to put pressure on the spindle and then slap the center with a large hammer and the shock should eventually jar this off. Okay, I find this actually very hard to work with. So, what we use is a 1500 series hydraulic ram instead. Now you can get them at 8 tons or 10 ton force. Uh, this sort of thing is used on most puller sets. Okay, it's quite a universal um, thing to use. Now this one I've just borrowed off the workshop uh, tool board and it screws straight into the equipment. So if you have to have Sykes Pickerman stuff around, fine. Bang, look at that. Put the pressure on, tapped it, that drop arm came off. Okay, well fair enough, that was just for dramatic effect. Now you really need to put a nut on um, the thread and use it as a retainer so the drop arm doesn't fly off and hurt somebody. Well, basically on our TV we like to review stuff and tell you our opinions of them and you can't knock Sykes Pickerman because basically they make pullers that work for the garage industry. Now any good garage will have a set of Sykes pullers. The bonus with this one here is specifically made for Land Rover, so it will fit over snugly on the drop arm. However, the price is fairly prohibitive. Now you can see I've cracked it off and I'm pulling this off. This one's a tough one to remove. The Defender and the Discovery drop arms are different. This does fit. You can see here, this one actually took a little bit of tapping to get it underneath the arm. But it goes on square and it's managed to pull this one off too. So refitting again, I'm just going to show you with this Land Rover, it has master splines on it. Okay, um, you can see this large spline here, or the master spline, and corresponding with the uh, steering arm, or the drop arm, or even pitman arm if you want to call it. There you go, it's there, and there's four of them. So you can actually mistakenly get this round the wrong way. First thing you should note, um, the slot and the hole on the steering box, they should be aligned. Now you can turn your steering box to make sure that it will rotate fully one way and the other. If you've got it the wrong way round, which I am actually going to demonstrate, then it won't line up at all. It's seen here demonstrated on the vehicle, the sweep of the uh, drop arm is not very excessive. As I said, it can be fitted the wrong way round. You can see here it drops on, but however it is in completely the wrong position. So be very aware of this. This has to line up with the peg on the back there. So the hole and the slot are aligned. Okay, so that is basically it. Steering box nut is tightened to 176 newton meters or 130 pound foot. And yes, that's very tight. Don't forget also that the lock tab needs to be bent over, preferably a new one or fresh sides of the old lock tab. Okay, so basically, in summary, this puller is made by Sykes Pickerman. It does a job, and because it's made by Sykes Pickerman, you know it's going to last a term. Every good workshop will have a puller set that's made by them, so it's a name to be trusted. The issue here is possibly the cost of it. 
I'm not going to tell you how much it is. Google it if you want to know. However, you have to find justification to be able to afford one. Well, I have, because I own this one. 